Well, I was hiking around the other day up north and uh, I came, I was walking around and I heard a noise and uh, looked down and I found a little contraption and I was pretty happy with my find. Uh, unfortunate for somebody else, they lost it, but if I didn't find it, it would have been ruined anyways. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I'll show you what I got, what I found out there in the woods. It was a fine spring day and I was on a hike up north in some woods. The leaves were busting forth from the buds. And as I made my way along, I came to a point in the woods where I heard a noise upon the ground, a hissing noise, which I thought was a vicious viper about to strike my heel. But as I gazed upon the forest floor to decipher where the noise was coming from, I noticed a red object crafted by human hands. This was not a vicious viper about to strike my heel, but a technological advancement. Indeed, I had found a treasure. Once I realized that this was a technical advancement and not some vicious viper, I jumped for joy, swung my arms in wild excitement. All right, <clears throat> let me show you what I got here. What I found out in the woods just taking a little walk. It's a radio, a light, and a charger for your devices. Um, yeah, I was, just, I was just walking around and I heard this static -y noise because it was on, you know. It kind of freaked me out at first because I was like, what in the world is that? You know, some snake, snake or something <laughs> hissing at me. Um, but it turns out it was this little guy. Um, yeah, so it has, a, it has a crank back here to charge it. It's one way you can charge it. You probably have to spend the whole day to completely charge it that way, but... It also has a solar panel here to charge it, and of course you can charge it the normal way. Um, and then, uh, you know, you got your, your spot where you can plug in to charge your devices right in there too. Looks like it's, maybe it's waterproof because it's got this uh, like rubber cover here. Um, it's got the radio WB, which I'm assuming is weather broadcasting. I haven't even really checked this out much at all yet. Um, AM, and, AM and FM, of course. So let's see what WB is. I think it's probably weather broadcasting. Let's turn it on. Highs in the upper 50s. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour becoming northwest in the afternoon. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the upper 30s. Wednesday, sunny. Highs in the upper 50s. Wednesday night, mostly So, clear. yep, that's what that is. Lows. So I can uh, listen to music while I'm out there. <laughs> or if I need to know what the weather is like, maybe. <clears throat> Turn this little guy on. There's something nostalgic about the uh, weather broadcasting. I don't know what it is, you know, it's just like old school. It's been around for forever. And uh, just kind of brings up the, uh, those old times where you, you're out in remote areas listening to the, uh, the weather. But yeah, I'm happy with the find for free. It's a nice little gift for free, that's for sure. Another way I can charge my devices and I don't know how effective the solar panel is but it's charging right now there's a red light on I think that indicates that it's charging can you see that red light there so yeah cool cool beans the temperature was 45 degrees the dew point 36 and the relative humidity 70 percent the wind was southwest at seven miles an hour 